Buy My Baby was a chain of stores that sold clothing and other items for infants and young children that opened in 1996 and is closing in 2023. Dear new parents, pro parents, about to be parents, and everyone in between. First off, you're doing great. Second, we know it's not always easy. There's a lot to do and think about, but you're not alone. Welcome to a place where there's help when you need it. Welcome to new adventures every day. Welcome to a community where each journey is different, but the goal is always the same. Bye Bye Baby Inc. was founded in 1996 by two brothers. Richard and Jeffrey Feinstein, the son of Bed Bath & Beyond co-founder Leonard Feinstein, opened the first Bye Bye Baby in Garden City, New York. The two brothers worked diligently to grow their business. It expanded initially through New York and New Jersey. It was a success which allowed them to open more stores. Each of the stores is approximately 40,000 square feet in size. Their shelves are packed with a variety of infant and young children's items. They offer more than 30,000 different products for their customers to choose from. Part of the success of the business had been that they maintain a larger inventory that they could offer a really great selection. Their goal was to offer everything that a new parent would need to welcome their new baby into the world. The store was focused also around the needs of the parent and the baby, and it would extend through toddler years up to school age. One of the big advantages of Bye Bye Baby was that they didn't charge outrageous prices for their products. They offered a moderately reasonable price so that it was affordable to shop there. They had set up their stores to accommodate the needs of expecting parents, as well as moms who had recently given birth or who were shopping with their little ones. The shopping environment included a place where mom can take a break from shopping when it's time to change baby or feed their child. A special room is set up at each location to offer a private area to feed the baby and they also offer a changing room as well. Bye Bye Baby offered one of the largest selections of baby clothing, furniture, linens, and pretty much everything under the sun in regards to infants and toddlers. There were a lot of people who were not aware of the fact that Bye Bye Baby operated a comprehensive nursery design center. They could help you in the important details, planning and creating a baby's nursery in a way that was customized and personalized to suit the customer's preferences. Essentially, an interior designing for that parent who wanted that perfect nursery. Bye Bye Baby also offered a huge selection of learning and developmental products, as well as toys. Bye Bye Baby also had baby consultants. You could call to make a convenient appointment to sit down with an in-store registry consultant. The service was 100% free. They would sit with you and answer any questions that you might have had, and they would also walk you through every step in the process. They also featured a large variety of products to keep your baby stimulated and entertained. Bye Bye Baby had a broad category of entertainment CDs and DVDs. If you purchased furniture or other items that needed to be assembled, customers could order them online or make a purchase at one of the local stores and make arrangements to have them delivered directly to their home. They could also opt to have the delivery person set them up. It was intended to make the experience hassle-free and more convenient. Bye Bye Baby also maintained a huge inventory of essentials for feeding and changing your baby. Customers could find bottles, formula, bibs, lotions, wipes, diapers, and more. They even had a special department for feeding, nursing, health, and safety. In 2007, Bye Bye Baby, which consisted of eight stores at the time, was acquired by Bed Bath & Beyond for $67 million. At the time, its primary competitor was Babies R Us until 2018 when Toys R Us, Babies R Us parent, 
filed for bankruptcy and closed all U.S. locations in 2018. At the time of the acquisition, the chain operated eight stores in New York, New Jersey, Maryland, and Virginia. Bye Bye Baby would eventually grow the chain to over 133 locations in 37 states and territories in the United States. As the Bye Bye Baby chain expanded, their parent company was struggling. By 2013, Bed Bath & Beyond struggled with weak sales, largely because of its messy assortments and lagging online strategy that made it hard to compete with the likes of Target and Walmart both of which had spruced up their home departments with higher quality sheets and beddings. The company also struggled to compete with online retail giant Amazon. The pandemic further hurt sales when all of their brick and mortar stores were forced to close temporarily. By the end of 2020, Bed Bath & Beyond had about $1.2 billion in debt, but due to its efforts to create its own brand and difficulty stocking its stores, its financial situation began eroding quickly. Credit from vendors started to dry up. Bed Bath & Beyond had placed some hope in Bye Bye Baby while it struggled to survive. A former investor stated that Bye Bye Baby was worth more than Bed Bath & Beyond's entire market capitalization and should be considered to be spun off or looked to find a buyer to take the whole company private. On April 23, 2023, after a failure to pay off stock, declining sales, high debt, and years of struggling, Bed Bath & Beyond officially filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection in the United States. In its bankruptcy filing, Bed Bath & Beyond said it had $5.2 billion in debt and assets of just $4.4 billion. The rise of online shopping and the popularity of Walmart Target and Costco drew away customers with lower prices and a wider array of merchandise helped lead to the chain's demise. It was later confirmed that all remaining Bed Bath & Beyonds and Bye Bye Baby stores in the United States would close unless a buyer was found for the chain. Bye Bye Baby would begin to shutter its stores, 120 of them on April 26, 2023, along with 360 Bed Bath & Beyond stores, as the company secured a $240 million loan to help fund its operations during bankruptcy. So what do you remember about this place? Leave a comment or a suggestion for a future video below. And if you haven't already, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.